potato spinner? Yes, Gravy too? Nothing. Sometimes you don't, you don't know what those children's backgrounds are and, and what kind of home life they come from, so you just try to keep a focus on you know, being a bright spot in their day. Michelle is active in the life of the church, a small group Bible study, with what you have thought of. performing in the handbell choir. She volunteered to help with the Healthy Church Initiative. The HCI process, the Healthy Church Initiative process, did a survey to find out the, the needs that were, maybe there were things lacking, areas that were lacking in Riverside. One thing we've implemented here at Riverside is um, an usher and greeter training. It, it opens my eyes to realize that every single person deserves that same welcome here. The person that drives the Cadillac here or the person that has to walk. The church added a fellowship area, spruced up the foyer, created a guiding vision statement. I believe that our society is structured in such a way to meet the needs of people in basically every other area of life, whether it be physical needs, psychological needs, but so often I see so little being done for the spiritual needs of people, and I believe if people are going to ever really be whole and really be healthy, uh, the spiritual basis, that spiritual foundation, has got to be dealt with first and foremost. The Minnesota Conference of the United Methodist Church. Sharing the gospel. Changing lives. Making disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. It begins here. United Methodist Church is in the business of saving and transforming lives. From the early days of the Methodist movement in England, to the circuit riders who extended the movement into Minnesota, to the current stories you have just heard, we are a God movement that changes lives. The Reach, Renew, Rejoice initiative is all about focusing our energy and resources on saving lives, on reaching and discipling new people, on helping individuals from a variety of diverse cultures and backgrounds grow in love of God and neighbor, and on joining Christ's mission of redeeming and healing a broken world. Nearly 60% of Minnesotans are not currently part of a faith community. When my grandparents' generation reached adulthood, 90% of them were involved in a faith community. When my parents' generation reached adulthood, it was 70%. For my generation, I'm a baby boomer, it is 50%. When my three sons reached adulthood, the percentage involved in a faith community had dropped to 30%. And it's, and it's estimated that by the time my son's children, my grandchildren, reach adulthood, only 10% of them will be involved in a faith community. Reach, Renew, Rejoice is about creating a church for your children and grandchildren and my children and grandchildren. Our congregational development plan will require all of us to come together and offer our prayers, our action, and our giving. My wife, Shar and I invite you to join us in leading the way. We believe God has brought this initiative and all of us together for a time such as this. What we do will shape the future of the United Methodist Movement in Minnesota. So let's join our hearts and hands to reach our children, grandchildren, and the next generations, to renew our congregations with Christ-inspired passion and purpose, and to rejoice in the breakthroughs of God's Holy Spirit in our lives, our churches, and our communities. Thank you. Thank you for your faithful and fruitful leadership and your extravagant generosity. What do you think? Good video?